Welcome back to the Office Marketing Podcast with Mike Swigert, the podcast all about sales tips, mindset, and value bombs. Five questions to help make your day more productive and learn a thing or two. Here is your host, best-selling author, Mike Swigert. Hey, everybody. Thanks for taking time out of your day and listening to this solo cast. This is uh, me talking about one specific subject and that's revenue generation. And I'm kind of thinking more about uh, bottom line revenue generation versus uh, top line revenue generation, but it, it impacts both. So if you just take a second and think about uh, how am I going to increase my revenue right away? There's really the two main ways you can do it. Number one is you can raise your prices. I mean, raising your prices will absolutely do it. Now, can you raise your prices? Do you have a value solution that uh, merits uh, raising your prices? Are you selling a commoditized product that by raising your prices is going to put you out of business? So maybe that's not the solution for you. But if you can add more value um, without a significant increase in your internal costs, raising your prices is always a good idea. Um, it, it, it's funny because I think you have to lose 20 in general, you have to lose about 25% of your business to offset a 10% price increase. And even at that, you're going to have less internal costs by doing that. So don't always think that raising your prices, um, is going to scare off, uh, customers because if your value proposition is there and you're consistently bringing great service and consistent value, raising your prices is, um, is rarely a bad idea. Um, it's painful sometimes because you could lose customers because of it, but are you gonna lose that money? So think about raising your prices. Number two is one that I like, it's the business I live in, and that is make more offers. So number one, raise your prices. Number two, make more offers. Now, there's a lot of ways to do that. Um, if you could have a business where you can add an unlimited number of zero base, 100% commission people that were competent and trained, um, I, I think that would be a pretty good model. And I think there are a lot of companies out there that do that, right? You tell me you wouldn't love to have, you know, a couple of dozen additional uh, really sharp people that are willing to work for zero base, 100% commission. You're going to get a lot more offers out of that. Um, you can make more offers by going to more trade shows. You can make more offers by expanding your email list. You can make more offers by doing more online advertising. You can make more offers by hiring more uh, salaried staff. Um, you, you can do all kinds of things like that by making more offers. Now, here's the thing. Please, please, please listen. One of the key things I did say was don't just add salespeople. You need people that are actually going to make an offer because um, I did somebody, someone told me one time, like salespeople that... Um, Salespeople that don't make offers are basically like uh, tour guides. That's what they are. So salespeople that don't make offers are tour guides. Um, they're wonderful. They'll be like, oh, this is great. This is a, you know, if you've ever been to Williamsburg, Virginia, one of the greatest, really, really one of the greatest places to go to if you have uh, daughters and, and a wife who love the, um, the old timey stuff. Um, there are tour guides there. They'll walk you through. I mean, you'll go through every building. You'll see the, the horses and carriages. This episode of the Office Marketing Podcast is brought to you by Fusion Advisory. We help commercial contractors generate leads online profitably. Check us out at fusion-advisory.com. But they're not selling you anything. They're just tour guides because it was already sold on the front end, right? Um, but if you uh, ever go to Vegas and you see the guy that's spinning that big wheel as you walk by and he says, oh, come on, step right up, step right up. What do you have here, right? They're making offers, making lots and lots of offers, right? Um, those guys are thinking about transactions and revenue generation. So if you can think about that and think about how am I making offers? How am I consistently making offers? Yes, you can do it with zero base, 100% salespeople. They will make a lot of offers for you. Um, again, you can do it by, if we have trade shows coming back later this year, be fantastic. Book more trade shows. You're gonna have a lot more opportunities to uh, book business, especially if you have a properly trained uh, trade show team. 
more networking opportunities. Again, don't send your tour guides. Make sure you send people that are willing to make offers um, or do very strategic uh, email value campaigns with uh, strategic and tasteful offers done in a very tasteful, timely way. Guys, that's how you're going to speed up your revenue generation. And um, I hope this was helpful. If you found this helpful, it would really, really mean a lot to me if you would just take a second and go to whatever service you listen to this on and leave a review. If, uh, if you're enjoying any of this content, leave me a note, leave a question. Um, we love checking it out. And odds are, I'm probably going to um, address that question on an upcoming uh, solo cast. But again, thanks for your time. You guys have a great day. Thanks for listening to the Office Marketing Podcast. Be sure to join the conversation on our YouTube channel, LinkedIn, and Facebook pages. If you enjoyed the episode, head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.